My name is Barb Desotel with CIR Realty. Welcome to my channel. And on this channel, you will learn all things real estate. You'll learn about the buying and selling process, as well as things to do in Calgary and the surrounding areas. So today we are talking about the cost of living in Calgary. Let's go. One of the biggest questions I get asked from people who are moving from Vancouver, Toronto or Montreal they want to know what are the cost of living in Calgary. Today, I'm going to break that down for you. We're going to talk about the housing, the salary, food, transportation, and some entertainment. The average Calgarian salary is $67,422. And the Canadian average is $52,539, according to the Canadian Census Board as of spring 2020. So we make 28% more than the rest of Canada. Now, minimum wage here in Calgary is $15 if you're 18 years old and over, or $13 if you're under 18 years old. Housing in Calgary is considerably low comparing to Vancouver and Toronto. The median price for a home is $420,000 as of the making of this video, whereas in Vancouver, it's $1,000,000 38,700 and in Toronto it's 971,800. So you can see it's definitely worth moving to Calgary. If you're looking to rent, the average rent for a two bedroom apartment is $1,486 according to rentfaster.com. Now it depends on where you want to live in the city. You may have cheaper options. If you're willing to live in a basement suite, then you can definitely save some money. The average cost of utility here in Calgary ranges from $300 to $500, depending on if you're in a newer home, an older home, and also the square footage of your home. Now, if you're in a basement suite, most of the time, the utilities will be included in your rent. As for internet and cable, if you're old school like me and you still have cable, I know most people have the internet and then various streaming service, but the average cost for your internet is about $78. Let's not forget about our cell phone bill since a lot of people are cutting the cord on landlines. The average cost is about 50 to $60. That is with no contract and usually gives you about four to eight gigs of data and unlimited talk and text in Canada. Now, if you bring your own phone, you can usually get even a better deal. Let's talk transportation. Unfortunately, our transit system is not nearly as robust as other major cities in Canada. So I would say you need a car, especially if you work outside of the downtown core. We do have our BART system that stands for bus rapid transit, and that'll make it easier for you to get around the city. Now the average cost of fuel in my SUV is anywhere from 60 to $80, depending on how much it is per liter for gas at the moment. Now monthly parking in Calgary ranges anywhere from 300 to $615. Now that's through the city of Calgary, as well as Impark, one of the major private companies. Bus pass for an adult is $109 per month, and a single ride is $3.50 for an adult and $2.40 for a youth. Now kids five and under ride for free. They do have discounts for low-income families, students, and seniors. If you have kids and you need childcare, the average cost of childcare is $1,173.15. Now there is government subsidy for low-income family, and I just wanna let you know that some of the daycares fill up quickly. So if you do need childcare, this would be something I would take a look at as soon as possible. Food, glorious food, I love food. Now the average cost of groceries here in Calgary ranges from 500 to $1,000. This depends on your family, of course, where you shop and um, whether you're buying name brand or whether you're buying the store brand, as well as depending on where you're located in the city. Now for my own family, it's about $800 per month. I eat plant-based and both of my kids are athletes, so they tend to eat a lot of food. It's a little bit on the higher end, but of course, when you have kids that are active, they tend to eat more. Sometimes I think my kids are actually eating their inheritance away. 
Now, here are some prices for some staple food. A loaf of bread will cost you $2.65, and one liter of milk is $2.58. One dozen egg will cost you $3.46. One kilogram of flour is $2.97. Two kilograms of rice will cost you $5. Five kg of potato will cost you $4.47. Tomatoes cost $4.23 per kg. Cheese is $13.97 per kg. And beef round is $15.21 per kg. If you like eating out or you just get tired of cooking, we have lots of restaurants. We have local restaurants, chains, and franchises. For fast food, you're looking at $40 to $50 for a family of four. And if you're looking at eating at a local restaurant, you're looking at anywhere from $15 to $20 per person. Some places even have kids meal, which is usually a bit cheaper, and others even have kids eat for free up to age 12, as long as the adult is ordering entrees. If you check out most restaurants' website, they usually have some sort of discount or special days where they have discounts. If you're thinking about moving to Calgary, please give me a call at 403 667 9869 on my cell phone. Now let's talk entertainment. There's lots to see and do here in the city. Here are some prices for some of the more popular places. The Calgary Tower. It's $18 for an adult and $9 for youth. The Calgary Zoo. A yearly pass is $251.80 or $29.95 for an adult for a day pass or $19.95 for a child for a day pass and that is up to the age of 15. Our wonderful science center, it's called Telus Sparks, and the yearly cost for a family is $268, or $15.99 to $26 for a single day's pass for an adult, and $10.99 to $19 for a child. Our historic heritage park family pass is $179.95 or $18.95 for an adult for a single pass or $15 for a youth. Now this has been um, reduced because of um, COVID for 2020. The City of Calgary Recreational Centre. The Leisure Centres, if you get a 10 times punch card, is $255 or $13.35 for an adult and $6.85 for a youth, and $6.05 for a child. The non-leisure center's um, 10 time punch card is $153.20. For a single visit for an adult, it's $8. For a youth, it's $4.10. And for a child, it's $3.65. Now to go to the movies, it's gonna cost you $15 for an adult and $12 for a child. If you have a Costco or an AMA membership, you can even get a better deal where you get the popcorn, the drinks, and the movie entry at a discounted price. So I would check that if you have a membership to AMA or Costco. Now, I know lots of people talk about our weather. Yes, it can get cold, but we have what we call a Chinook. It's basically a warm wind that comes in and it warms up the city. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. Even though the Chinooks do cause me a little bit of a migraine, but I live with that. Fun fact, did you know that Calgary is the sunniest place in Canada? On average, we get 333 days of sunshine. Calgary ranked in the global top 10 for the most attractive cities for workers. If you enjoyed this video, then you will want to watch the next video coming up. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos I post here.